When the trade dispute between China and the U.S. began, many in Brazil thought the country could reap the benefit, as the Chinese could turn to Brazil to supply their growing demand for soy. And in large part they have, contributing to record Brazilian exports of soy since the middle of last year, about 80% of it sold to China. But as negotiations between China and the U.S. show signs of progress, that progress is seen as bad news for Brazilian producers here. China resumed limited soybean purchases from the U.S. in December. Then came the announcement by U.S. Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue on Twitter last month that China had committed to buy an additional 10 million metric tons of U.S. soybeans. It could have negative impacts on Brazil, depending on how they will go about with these imports from the U.S. If much of it happens in the first half of the year, it will undoubtedly have negative impacts. However, this consultant says high stocks of soybeans in the U.S. are pushing down prices. Allowing U.S. soy to flow to China could increase its value, benefiting producers in Brazil as well. China wants to, to, to have more sources of, of soybeans, but in the end, no, one, no, one, no country in the world has uh, enough soybean to, to supply to the amount of the China's uh, demand. It's not only the country's soy producers who've had to deal with bad news regarding exports to China. Poultry exporters are now being hit by anti-dumping tariffs imposed by China on imported Brazilian chicken. Brazil's main poultry exporting companies have managed to close individual agreements with the Chinese, exempting them from the tariffs. Industry representatives say that negotiating strategy worked, but fear what may be ahead, like a U.S.-China agreement that boosts poultry trade. Our industry is following this carefully because the United States is the second largest exporter of chicken in the world. Brazil comes first with over one million tons more than the U.S., and we hope that the Chinese government will give equal treatment to Brazilians and Americans. China is Brazil's biggest trading partner and the main buyer of the country's soy. And this is unlikely to change. But the uncertainty in volume has industry officials tense, coming as Brazil struggles to get its economy back on a path of consistent growth. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, São Paulo.